Previously on Seriously Yours, Shira decides to move to Israel and to vlog her experience. She packs her bags and goes to Israel, where she lives in a very small apartment, very humble abode, and studies nursing in Mechon Part of JCT, the Jerusalem Project Technology. Beginnings are tough for Shira, suffering from homesickness. Sometimes it feels like it's good and bad hours. And dealing with bureaucracy she isn't used to at school and with her I'm cell phone not company. Allowed to take the exam, but she's not allowed to let me take the exam. But Shira quickly learns Hebrew and makes new friends. And I was surprised at how many English speakers are in my class. Does well in school and spends a lot of time at the beach. I needed a break from sitting in a stuffy library studying. And now, after her long summer break, Shira is ready to officially official. make Aliyah. October 23rd. And that's what you missed on Seriously Yours. Hi guys, Shira here. I'm just going to start off by recapping anything major that happened since I left Toronto on Sunday, October 23rd, which is last week. I ended up with three bags at 70 pounds each. That means all three of them were at their maximum weight limit. I had to pay overweight for each bag, you know, which really wasn't such a big deal in the end because I barely paid for my flight in the first place. So the flight itself was okay. Studied for my tests and I slept a lot. When I say we, I'm, talk I'm just referring to me and my friend Shoshana, who I mentioned a bunch of times already, she made Aliyah with me. It's so much easier and so much more fun to have somebody doing everything with you. When we arrived in Israel, just before passport control, we were greeted by a woman from Misrata Klita, um, the Ministry of Absorption, who took us to the Misrata Klita office to just get started on our Aliyah paperwork. Yeah. Guess where we are, viewers? The Absorption yeah. office. Yeah. And it looks like a hospital. And now they want us to make Aliyah at our trip. Yeah. We were there for a couple of hours, and we ended up with, along with a whole folder of paperwork, um, our 2 dot is proof that we are Olim Khadashim, new immigrants, and basically entitles us to a bunch of benefits. So after we were done there, somebody from Israel Kuta guided us out of the airport and into our waiting taxis. Well, well actually it was a private Shay route just for me and Shoshana because we were both going to Yerushalayim anyways. And we each had three 70 pound bags, so that obviously that just wouldn't fit into a taxi. So I was dropped off in my apartment. I had to wait there for two and a half hours for the door in Madrucha to show up with my key to the apartment. This was about like 11, 15, 11, 30 when I finally got up to my apartment. So that gave me about five hours till any of my dear mates showed up to move in themselves. Uh, I'm not going to go into details about this apartment just yet. It's both better and worse than last year's apartment, but again, more about that in a future video. So yeah, that was Monday, and then Tuesday, the next morning, I started school. Don't even ask me about the tests. Like, a combination of not having recently reviewed, um, being jet-lagged and tired and overwhelmed, it all that together didn't really make me such a good test-taking person. We started classes that day too, and it was like, Oh my gosh, I don't remember how to speak Hebrew or understand Hebrew. School's a little bit annoying because we don't have a schedule. One of our main courses is about like internal medicine and surgery and they just get different speakers, different doctors and different nurses from all around the country to come speak to us. So basically we're working on these doctors and nurses schedules. That means week to week our schedule can change and even during the week or during that exact day that the schedule can change. Um, for Shabbos, my English-speaking friends hosted an Aliyah Shabbaton in Mon Shoshana's honor. It was great, first of all, not to have to sleep out for Shabbos, not to have to move out of my apartment, not to pack my bags, to have a very relaxing, stress-free Friday, and of course, to spend time with my friends who I hadn't seen in three months. Good morning, everyone. 7.30 a.m. on Sunday. I'm off to meet Shoshana. We are going to go get our two dots of hoot today, which is an ID card that every Israeli carries after age 16. We're going to meet straight up name. The Ministry of the Interior opens at 8. Hopefully we'll get there early enough that we won't have to wait in line for four hours. Hi guys, she right here. Um, we just, I think this is official that we made Aliyah because right now we have our two dots of hoot. We made it in time, waited in line for a half an hour, and yeah, so now it's like really official and it's very crazy. Where's really? I'll see you next time.